What's up, YouTube? That's here bringing you a super cool VGC 2015 battle I played on Battlespot last night. You can see my team on the left-hand side is going to be Rhyperior, Gastrodon, Sceptile, and Arcanine, leading off against a Machamp, Rotom Wash, Heatran, and potentially Mega Salamence. So, looking at this team, you're probably wondering why did I upload this battle? These teams will both look boring. Well, you can see that I am using Rhyperior, and my opponent Nick is actually using a Machamp. For those of you guys that don't know, Machamp gets no guard, which makes all of its moves and all of the opponents who target its moves uh, have 100% accuracy. And you know what's really cool with 100% accuracy? That's right, it's going to be Horn Drill coming out from my Rhyperior. One of the funnest moves to play with in the game, and it's a super treat every time it happens. It's even funner with 100%. So without further ado, we're going to start this thing off, hop right into the game, and uh, start throwing some plays with some 100% accuracy horn drills. That's my favorite way to play. So we're going to see Nick lead off with Machamp and Rotom. And of course, you know, I think he's going to lead with those two, so I'm going to perfectly counter him by leading with my Gastrodon and Rhyperior. Remember, I wanted to leave with Rhyperior to check Machamp, but I also wanted to leave with Gastrodon so uh, uh, my Rhyperior could not get Hydro Pumped. So, good thing for him, he opens up with a Will-O-Wisp on my Rhyperior, and then a super big Dynamic Punch coming out onto my Gastrodon. I think it's gonna, uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, remember, it does have 100% accuracy. It's gonna confuse me, and it's gonna proc my Citrus Berry. So, kinda sucks I'm confused, but I'll definitely take that trade. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get the good end of it here. So, uh, I'm gonna come out with a Scald on his Rotom, just cause there's nothing else I could really do with Gastrodon. Uh, luckily I hit, but then the Horn Drill comes in. 100% accuracy. Bam, that's the good stuff right there. I don't think you guys have probably ever seen that happen in game, but as the text says, it's a one-hit KO, and Machamp is going to go down. So I'm, I have four Pokemon, he has three. He's burned my Rhyperior, but you know, once you burn a Rhyperior, in my opinion, and then you intimidate it, you pretty much just turn it into a Horn Drill bot. So we're going to probably keep trying to do some Horn Drills. So you see that he withdraws his Rotom here, probably doesn't want to eat any Horn Drills with that guy, and he decides to go into his Heatran here. Pretty good uh, play to go into Heatran, I would say. And then we're going to see Salamence Mega Evolve. You know, when Salamence Mega Evolves, for those of you guys that don't know, it gains the Aerial Aid ability as well as a bunch more, you know, like gross, like broken stats. It becomes really, really strong, and Aerial Aid is an ability that changes all normal type moves to flying type, uh, which would make Salamence stab them, and then give them a 30% boost. So it's no wonder my Gastrodon died. To that double edge there. I actually end up missing a double edge on his Heatran there, but uh, it was totally worth going for the second one. I had Horn Edge Fever this game, so uh, it's at this point that I need to try and like, I still need to win the game, right, or else it wouldn't be worth uploading. So <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, but uh, I still need to win, right? So it's at this point, you know, we see Solomon's actually decide to go for a Rock Slide here, something I really wasn't expecting. And uh, then Heatran goes for an Earth Power here, targeting my Arcanine slot. So I think he definitely made the right call there. Uh, gets a free nuke on my Arcanine, who is definitely trying to go for a close combat onto that Heatran. And then he actually flinches my right here with a Rock Slide. So instead of winning the game, you know, I'm like really, really behind. Like really behind. So I have to send Sceptile out. This is my last Pokemon here. And... Uh, I'm obviously going to go for the Mega Evolution. There's not really that much uh, I can do that would be unexpected here. So I'm going to go in for the Mega Evolution. I'm going to go for the Protect just because I do actually need the speed boost from its stats to be faster than Salamence. Salamence is going to go for the Predictable Double Edge, and Heatran is going to go for a Flash Cannon coming out onto my Rhyperior. And he actually is going to pick up the KO. So judging by how much damage this is doing to Rhyperior and Arcanine, I can assume that that Heatran, because it was also fast... Uh, is pretty much probably full speed special attack. That's what I can assume. So starting off the next turn of the game, turn 5, I'm going to go for a big D-Pulse onto that Stalamence. And we're gonna, it's up to Heatran. If Heatran can kill me, well, we actually see that he can't. Uh, I really don't think Heat Wave would have killed, just because uh, it's it's stabbed, but it's not super effective. We see Rotom his last Pokemon come out, and I decide to go for a Focus Blast on Heatran, because I know Rotom can't kill me. Luckily, I killed the Heatran. I should say, luckily, I crit. <laughs> uh, I knew that I would have killed the Heatran just because I said before, it was pretty weak from a... Uh, well, it, sorry. It didn't have the defenses that a normal Heatran would have because uh, it was so invested in speed and special attack. And it was obvious from early turns in the game. So I'm going to finish this battle off with a Leaf Storm. And uh, I was super ecstatic when this happened on stream because remember, this game started off with a Horn Drill onto a Machamp. So uh, I, I had a really good turn one and then like like lost three Pokemon and then Skeptile just totally cleaned up his last three with like Dragon Pulse, Focus Blast, and Lee Storm. So using all of Skeptile's like every move at his disposal and a, and a Horn Drill from Rhyperior, those are the type of games I like to play. So I've really had a lot of fun this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.